Let's get to golf. We have the KCB current masters that will be taking part next week beginning Friday with the pro arm we have a number of golfers 68 golfers 22 of whom are Kenyan based golfers the tournament will be also as a preparation for the Kenya Open that will be later next week starting from the 23rd but then before that what are the KCB celebrating with me is the KCB we have Job Njiru we well known, know him for rally but then he's here for golf as well we also have Andy Watt who will be talking to us as the tournament director. KCB Current Masters, tell us more about it. Exciting times, I think, ahead. And very good partnership with uh, Karen. Very excited to partner with them. Actually, it's a birthday week, I dare say, for them. 80 years for, for Karen, and what a way to celebrate. And as KCB, we've decided to partner with them, bring in these uh, professionals, and also the local talent, the pros and the amateurs uh, in Kenya bring them all together in one platform and showcase what we have in terms of the golfing community. Talking of golfing community, we are celebrating 80th anniversary for the current, current country club, making it an 80th birthday. We have a new green also as well, a few holes that have been made up for the tournament. Tell us more as the tournament director. We have Karen, the Masters, we have Dan Kasten, some of the players to take part. Yeah, no, it's, it's a fantastic opportunity to celebrate the 80 years. 1937 was the year of incorporation of Karen and Great to partner with, to make Job slow down a little bit from his rallying to, uh, to join the golfing scene. So it's great to have uh, KCB on board. Um, we've not got just one new green. We've, we've redesigned all 18 greens, actually, and replaced them in the last two years. Um, so a massive feat to get the course in, in good condition. Um, we, uh, we hired a, a, an international golf designer, a guy called David Jones, who uh, is very, very good at his job. And if you come and look at the greens at Karen and, and play on them, you'll find that they are a real test of golf. So that was a wonderful opportunity to celebrate the 80 years, to showcase the, the investments that we'd made um, and bring the, the, a, a group of international pros out of Europe. Uh, if you're looking at the weather forecast these days, it's uh, snowing in northern Europe, it's eight degrees in the UK. Bring them to the tropics, bring them to high altitude golf in Kenya to help us celebrate. And I, I think we're, we're set for a really interesting uh, weekend of golf. You mentioned the Pro-Am. We've got Pro-Ams on both Friday and Saturday, and the Pro scores will carry through from the Saturday to the Sunday, where it's the Pros only who really uh, go head-to-head -head for, the, for the prize money, um, the trophy, and um, the famous blue jacket, the, the, the Karen Masters blue jacket. Let alone the uh, famous blue jacket, we also have 1.5 million shillings up for grabs. Nonetheless, Dan Karsten Maas, a trick golfer who is well yeah. known for his trickster, He's yeah. uh, been in the Guinness Book of Records as well. Tell us more about him and other international players. We have 46 more coming in. Yeah, no, he's a, Dan, um, Kastamas is a really interesting guy. I mean, as you say, he's a trip golfer, but he's a professional golfer in his own right. He, he's won on the main European tour. He's won on the senior tour. Uh, he's coming to play in the Karen Masters, and he's also going to uh, keep us all interested on the Saturday night with some of his trick, uh, trick golf. So he has a driver that's four meters long, and he will be doing all sorts of stuff for about an hour, showing people how, how golf can be made even more fun than it, than it is. Making it more fun is one of your targets, but then again, looking at it, the sport is yet to be appreciated and welcomed by many fans, players, and we, can't, we can count the number of players taking part in, the, in it professionally. Perhaps looking at it moving forward, you guys as KCB Masters, or, uh, sorry, current Masters, what's your initiative in, in, uh, in your way to making it forward look something that can attract more players? Um, I think it's good that KCB has uh, come on board again with uh, Karen in this particular tournament. And it's not our first time to take part in uh, uh, golfing in Kenya. As you know, our footprint is in sports and in nurturing uh, sports. And for the last five years, we've been going around the country actually in various circuits, golfing circuits, promoting on the KCB tour, you know, promoting local talent and uh, bringing up what we are seeing uh, culminating, for instance, over this weekend. So the weekend, uh, the coming weekend, the current KCB uh, tournament really is going to showcase some of the talent that has really come through part of the initiatives that we have started as KCB in the past. And it's a way of just, it's a journey. And believe me, you'll see a lot of surprises at Karen. We have uh, 22 local best players who are preparing for the Kenya Open as well. We have the Simwa brothers, Nelson as well as Boniface, mm -hmm. vet lab uh, players for golf club. They're seeking to take part in this as a way to encourage themselves ahead of the 
Kenya open a tournament that Kenya is yet to win it at home. Exactly, and that's, and, that, and that's what you're talking about. You know, local talent that has come up through various respective clubs aiming for the top, uh, top prize at Karen first and foremost and also to showcase what Kenya has. We have other people like Disma Sindiza who have been again uh, started off as amateurs in this country. We have uh, other guys like Jacob Okello and you name it who have come through, uh, come through the ranks. So it's really an exciting, I would say, a platform for our own local talent to showcase what they have. And as Andy said, you're looking at Friday and Saturday where we are going to pair the amateurs with the professionals. I mean, what better way to really master the game and to showcase what you have than that? Nelson Simo is one of the, he won the 2015 Amateurs uh, Player of the Year in 2015. It will be a good move for them. But then again, if I bring you in, Andy, current golf course the sixth and the twelfth uh, hole. It's a challenge. We have trees, we have bushes, we have water in the twelfth hole. Mm. It will be a challenge to the players ahead of the tournament. G golf is always a challenge. Uh, <laughs> that's, one of the, that's one of the great things. We have a lot of trees, a lot of water. Uh, the greens will be the biggest challenge for them, I think, this year, because uh, some of the guys coming in um, played Karen last year when we hosted the Open there, um, but the greens will be a big surprise, I think. Um, picking up again on what Job was saying, I think the Having the opportunity for the, for the Kenyan pros to play against some of the, the upcoming international stars is a tremendous thing. You, you up your game by being able to play against um, different people, different skill sets. And, and, and it's, I think it's a wonderful opportunity to bring them together um, before the Open to get some practice in. And suss out the opposition, find out what they're like. Um, and I think that's the way to, uh, for the Kenyan guys to be, be at the top there on the pedestal taking the prize money home. Just a few up in a few, a few of the international players. We have 46 who are coming in. Who are we to expect other than Mas? Well, I think one of the interesting guys is, is Richard Dinwiddie. Um, he's a past winner of, uh, of the, uh, the Kenya Open, um, and I think he'll be one to watch. He's probably the top-ranked player that's playing, um, so always one, to, always, always one to watch out for. Um, an interesting golf, you move up and down, as you do in lots of sports, and there's an interesting guy called Martin Lefebvre, a Dutch guy. He'd been into uh, the, the Challenge Tour series, up onto the main tour. I actually played with him in, in Holland once, and then he's, he's now back onto the, the Challenge Tour. So we're looking for some really well-experienced golfers coming in. And I think, uh, you know, and for the general public to come in, it's a 500 bob ticket for, for three days. Um, people can come and watch this, this golf, find out what it's like, look at the trick show as well, but look at the real game and understand the, the fun that you get out of a, a round of golf. Just other than that, the benefits that the players will be getting in playing with international players, we have European tour players as well coming in. It will be a win-win a win for both players, in, even if they lose that. Moving forward, the players are, the tournament, uh, rather golf is something that we are yet to grow in Kenya. We are yet to participate in the international tournaments, other than the players getting the tactical side of it. What more should be done? I think for the players, there's a lot in terms of the tactical, as you rightfully mentioned, Brian, the, uh, the experience that they get playing with these uh, individuals. There is also the trophy that you take out of it. Uh, there is some monetary incentive that, uh, that is also there. I think if you do the hole-in-one, Toyota is, uh, is right out there you know, with some gift, uh, some prizes for the hole-in-one. And what more prestigious than to wear the blue jacket? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd love to have that myself, yeah? And that is one of the prestigious things that the players will carry out of that uh, tournament, whoever wins the tournament. So that's the array, I mean, in terms of the motivation that, that they have for this particular coming uh, tournament, yeah? But as KCB, we are looking forward. I mean, we keep our eyes and our ears open to see what other investments can we do in sports across the country, not just in golf, but we are looking widely. We're in motorsport, as we said, we're in rugby as we speak. Is the Kenya Cup going on? We're involved in that. I mean, there's volleyball of which we're involved in. So our footprint is large. This is not the end. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is just mainly the beginning. And on the sideshow, Andy was talking to me saying, it's going to be bigger. It's going to be better over the coming years. So mm -hmm. we'll engage and see which way it goes. We'll engage and see how it goes indeed. What should the fans expect as we, if we sum this up? I, I think just a tremendous weekend of golf. The, the, the golf course is in fabulous condition. Uh, we're bringing some really, really good players in. Um, as you have said, we will see the amateurs playing with the professionals, the professionals going out uh, head to head on the Sunday. So I think it, it will be a really exciting weekend for, the, for, for golf. Indeed, it will be a real a great spectacle to watch 
celebration for the KCB current masters, as well as the Andy, uh, Andy Watts, the tournament director, who has promised a good achievement for the players, as well as for the fans who will be there.